Good afternoon from Disney Springs. It has been a while since we have been here and they are still doing construction on a lot of stuff. So I wanted to come out here and give you guys an update on what's going on at Disney Springs. Maybe we'll find some new stuff. We'll check in at the world of Disney because they're constantly changing the displays in there and the merchandise. And we'll see what is going on with the construction of the NBA experience, Haleo, and uh, there's a Ron John surf shop that they're adding in down the way. Let's go check it out. Well, the NBA experience doesn't look like much from back here. It just looks like a building. So I think we're gonna have to head down and get in front of it to see how it looks from down on ground level. So here we are with a construction update on the NBA experience. Hmm. I mean, it still looks like there's quite a ways to go. You can see they've got some lights in there. That's good, but still just a wide open building. They have added some of these exterior stylings. These are perforated metal pieces they kind of have silhouettes of basketball players on them. I bet once it's lit up, you'll be able to see it a little bit better at night. The other thing though, is that there is some movement here at Cirque du Soleil. I think that means that we will probably get a new Cirque du Soleil show sometime soon, because there are construction walls and people working on the building. Ooh, there is a gigantic map here of Disney Springs. What is this distinctly Disney offerings? It's very strange, like the Lego store, the art of Disney, that makes sense, but like Zara is not distinctly Disney, is it? Here's a view of the other side of the NBA experience. You can see all those perforated panels making their way around the building. Here in the concept art, you can kind of see the designs that will be on the panels a little bit better. Also, I feel like maybe they pushed the construction walls back because we can get pretty close to the building. Oh, well, looking at this sign, it makes a little bit more sense. Coming winter of 2019, so they basically have an entire year to finish this off. Up next, we're walking up on Haleo by Chef Jose Andres. But first, attached to Haleo is Pepe, which is like a quick service for Haleo. And you can see they still got some uh, black tarps inside the windows. Can't quite see inside of there just yet, but one day we'll be able to. It'll be open soon, it seems like. They even have the menu board out here. No menu in it just yet, but I'm like, it really feels like it's gonna be any day now. Look at this big old J. I guess the little barriers are not doing so good because uh, like a couple of people just walked up and they're totally gonna walk in right now. So as I was looking around, the doors opened and people are inside of there. And there's somebody up there. I think they're getting ready and they will open soon. Funny thing about bongos. So this is partially owned by Gloria Stefan, but I have some friends that were in town and they tried it for the very first time. They said it was delicious. I've never eaten here. We'll have to try this one day. There is a express window over here to the side, and this is just the express menu. This is basically just a lot of Cuban food, so I don't see how this could be bad. Get yourself like a nice Cuban sandwich, traditional ham croquette even. Yeah, I want that. Here at Superhero Headquarters, got a lot of Captain Marvel stuff. Whoa. What's this giant hand? I think I have to see the movie to understand why she has a gigantic hand. See if there's anything new and interesting inside of Disney style. They definitely have a huge display for Delish. Lots and lots of food items. Ooh, I like this for $34.99. Mickey Balloon Makers? Okay, for $34.99 as well. Seems like a lot of these are just gonna be $34.99. Yeah, I think that's just the general idea of the shirts in here. This one kind of hits home, doesn't it? Dang, this one's $39.99 because it's long sleeve. But great movie ride's gone. Tomorrowland Dreamer Society, Big Thunder Mountain. Captain Jack's Antique Shop. Ooh, I like this Mr. Toad shirt. That one's fun. I think $44.99. Well, that one's, hold on, let me see. $34.99 for this. If it's a polo, it's $44.99 from the Tiki Room. These are kind of fun. It's the two-sided sequins. So you can change the design from purple, like make it make it pink, make it blue, right? And because of that, it is $39.99. They have a whole collection of patches that you could put on a jean jacket. I don't think they sell a jeans jacket here though. Just the patches. You gotta provide your own jean jacket. How much are they? $9.99 for the single one. $19.99 is for this pack of four. Lots and lots of small world merch. $34.99 for this. $44.99 for this huge duffel bag. $34.99 for the tank top. Are these like leggings? They sell leggings? Wow, how much are they? $36.99 
for these leggings. You could have an entire outfit with a, a Small World Spirit jersey, Small World tank top, Small World shirt, Small World bag, Small World leggings, Small World ears, Small World hoodie over top of your uh, Small World Spirit jersey. And then you could have a Small World backpack, Small World Alex and Ani uh, bracelet, Small World phone case. Wow, you can go all out. Or even this little Small World purse too. Coming up on a section of Disney Springs with a couple of restaurants that we really enjoyed. And what we'll do is we'll put a link in the description down below to Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill and another link to when we ate at Chicken Guy so you guys can see what it's like. Admittedly, I liked Wolfgang Puck's better than Chicken Guy, but Chicken Guy was, it was tasty. Like if you're looking for a fast meal, Chicken Guy for sure. Here at Sperry, they've got some shoes woven from recycled plastic bottles. I like that idea, but I don't know that I really like the style of shoes. The gray ones aren't bad. I always like to check into Ever After Jewelry Company because you never know what they might have in there. They have a lot of Dooney and Burks for sure. Look at this Tinkerbell Dooney and Burke. That's really fun. This thing feels solid. Like, I don't know if they put weights in here or something, but I feel like I could really like do some damage with this thing. Oh, more small world stuff. We're on a small world overload. This is a $250 bag. How much is this one then? It's 268. Why is this one almost the same price as this one? Am I reading this wrong? 248. 268 and then and then 298 you guys remember when we found the harvey's purses in the outlet because here's some of them right here this bag is 198 this one's 178 Ooh, how much is this 198 but so for the same price you get a backpack i feel like a backpack's much more versatile oh wait is this on the other side oh yeah that's fun it's got sorcerer mickey on the other side of it this is a 398 dollar dooney and burke bag and look at how easily it scuffs up. Dang. And now we're coming up on where the Ron John Surf Shop is going to be here in Disney Springs. So just to give you guys an idea of where the Ron John's is, here is the Lime Garage entrance to Disney Springs. This is the Ron John's right here. And then right across the way is the giant Under Armour store. Well, the good news is if you want to put some patches on a jean jacket from Disney Style and you don't have a jean jacket, there is a Levi's store over here where you can get one. Oh, they have, there's one right there with literally a giant Mickey on the back of it. It's like pre-made for you. And they got some Mickey jeans too. Oh, Mickey jean shorts. Let's head into our absolute favorite bakery in all of Disney Springs. It is, however, kind of expensive, so we're not getting anything today. But look at this Steamboat Willie. Okay, is it? No, it's not Steamboat Willie. It's the uh, Mickey Premium Bar. That is awesome. There's a goofy one. There's a Donald one. And then over here we've got Mickey and Minnie and Pluto. I don't know if there's anything new, but look at how delicious everything looks. Wow. I want to eat all of this all the time. Also, look at this rose. And the creme brulee. They'll make it for you. They will brulee it right here on site. So I have a shirt that is Mickey playing the saxophone that a lot of people ask me where I got it from. And I got it from Uniqlo which it is a few seasons old, so they don't have it in here anymore, but let's see what they do have in here. They have all kinds of different shirts, and each of them are $14.90. I kind of love this one. I'm gonna get this, actually, because it's amazing. Look at this one, too. Does it have anything on the back, or is that it? I think that's it. Mickey Mouse. These were so much fun. Whoa, where's that one? And then Mickey and Minnie kissing. Look at this, he kind of looks like Joe Cool. Oh, they have a pocket shirt with Mickey on it. And they have this one that sort of looks like a sparkly background with the Mickey cutout on it. I think that one's also $9.90. Unless maybe just all of them are $9.90. There's a lot of them. What is this? It looks so intense. I really think they're only $9.90. Is there anything on the back of this one? No, there's not. One bite and all your dreams will come true. One bite and all your dreams will come true. I think these are $14.90. It's so hard to figure out the pricing in here. Cause like these, these Andy Warhol ones are $7.90, maybe? I can't tell. They have a lot of princess shirts too. I'm all right, Pascal. 
And these are definitely, I figured out, this one's definitely $14.90. How much are the sweatshirts? I feel bad for all the people that are the team members of the workers in the store that have to refold all this stuff at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day. Ooh, a cheaper spot to get a denim jacket other than Levi's. Only $39.90. I bet you the one at Levi's would have been like $100. They also have these button-down shirts available too. They look a little bit oversized, like the sleeves are a little bit longer on them. And these are $19.90. kind of love this. The entire store is packed, but the winter section is not. Nobody is over here looking at winter jackets because it's hot down here. These are actually down jackets and they're packable too. So I think that they're kind of a good jacket to have. When I say packable, I mean, it'll fit inside this little tiny bag. Next, let's head into World of Disney, the world's largest Disney store. I feel like I don't even know where to start looking at the stuff inside of the Disney store here. There's so much stuff in all directions. Just a whole wall of hats. So many hats. Also a whole wall of ears. Ears galore. Well, there's a giant doll Whip here and all of the delish stuff. Oh, this is changing. Oh, look at that. All kinds of food-based items. Taste D, not delish, sorry. I don't know why I thought it was delish. When I first walked in and I saw that wall of ears, I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to find any of the donut ears. I found them because I was looking at this wall of ears. I thought maybe they didn't have any of the new ones in here, but they do. They're just over here. They have all of the new ones. Don't have very many of the flying carpet ones, but they have them. Ooh, they have a whole like sweatpants and sweatshirt set. I just bought some ears uh, from World of Disney and the cashier, because I forgot my annual pass in the car, and she's like, tell everybody that watches you to remember to bring their annual passes in. So. You guys better remember. What's your guess on what kind of chocolate they're giving out at Ghirardelli today? Just in time for Easter, it's a little bunny. Milk chocolate caramel. Just like these bunnies over here. Let's head into the co-op where they have a bunch of different stores. But mainly we're gonna be looking for the dress shop on Cherry Tree Lane to see if they have anything new, any new dresses. So the dress shop has been doing this thing where they have a beautiful dress and then they just like put something right in the middle of it to make it sort of look like it's a t-shirt rather than a fancy dress like it was before. Oh, but they have this Captain Marvel one. This is awesome. Here is a better view at that Captain Marvel. And this is $128. Look at the back of it too. It's just a very nice dress. I like the design on the zipper too. In a comment recently, somebody asked why we never go to Earl of Sandwich, and it's not because it's not good. It is, it's a very delicious place. I think that it just has to do with the location of it, because it's kind of way out here at the end of Disney Springs, and by the time that we get over here, more than likely we would have eaten at one of the other restaurants down towards the center over there. In the pin trading store, there's like a secret pin trading thing where you spin a wheel and you pick one of the Fab Four and then you get to open up the door and maybe get to pick one to trade. That's pretty interesting. Sorry, I know I didn't really explain that. Kind of across from Earl of Sandwich, there's just a kiosk. It's not really a kiosk, it's a store, but it's open on all sides. That's just a pin trading store where you can go in and buy all kinds of pins. Also, there's a lefty's left-handed store where you can buy all kinds of stuff for being left-handed, like left-handed scissors. Rainforest Cafe is erupting fire. That can't be good. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Aristo Crepes is open. We could totally get a crepe right now. We're not going to, but we could. They also have cookie dough, where you can get a little ball of cookie dough as if it were ice cream, but cookie dough instead. They also have this Rouse Family Challenge cup where you can fill it up with ice cream. It's a lot of ice cream, so it's a challenge for an entire family to eat it. I think that some of these might be new. I didn't realize that they were doing footlongs here at BB Wolf's Sausage Company. Also, look at those buns. Those buns look amazing. And if I'm ever showing you guys a menu and you guys see this little symbol next to something, that is a snack credit on the Disney Dining Plan. Here's something I never noticed before. Out in front of the hangar bar, Jock Lindsay's hangar bar, there's this large nautical star type thing, direction star in the concrete. And right at the northern tip is a medallion that looks like Jock Lindsay's plane. As we gear up to St. Patrick's Day, Raglan Road is having the Mighty Festival all St. Patrick's week. Looks like we've got some live music out here. Time to head into my favorite chocolate shop, the Ganachery. They're making stuff. Also in here, 
the power pinata from Captain Marvel, or themed after Captain Marvel. That Captain Marvel pinata, chocolate pinata, is $25, and I believe, because I think I've gotten one of these before, and you crack it open and it's got the little chocolate pearls inside of it. It's delicious. The Ganachery has the best chocolate that I've ever had. You should definitely stop by there whenever you're here. It is a little bit expensive, but it is delicious. Making my way back over to Haleo just to see. You never know, keeping my options open, hoping for the best. It, maybe it'll soft open right now. Well, it was worth giving another swing by. Not open. Thought maybe it would be. He's going inside. I should just follow him, right? So I peeked inside when the door was open. There's still boxes around on the ground, so I don't think it's going to open today. But it seems like it'll be very soon. It's been so long since we've been out here to have a look at the garages. I feel like that garage over there is almost done. It kind of blends in with the Lime Garage. It looks like one giant garage, but that's actually two different garages. I think the one across the street is Lemon? I can't remember now. So all in all, a fantastic trip to Disney Springs. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff here that I just love. Like I love all the food here. I love all the different shops. You can get just about anything here at Disney Springs. I don't know, it's kind of a fantastic place. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, this is Piper from Orlando, and now it's time to pay the price.